Welcome to Airworthy Tours, your guide in the sky. My name is Captain Phillip, and today I'm going to serve as your tour guide and pilot as we take a tour of an offshore oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico. But before we get started, if you would like to be a part of future aerial tours, please consider subscribing to the channel. We are clear for takeoff, so sit back, relax, and enjoy your tour. Before we head out to the Gulf, a quick look at an oil refinery. Louisiana's 17 oil refineries account for nearly one-fifth of the nation's refining capacity and can process 3.3 million barrels of crude oil per day. Overall, 45% of total U.S. petroleum refining capacity is located along the Gulf Coast as well as 51% of total U.S. natural gas processing plant capacity. Heading out to the Gulf of Mexico, ahead is the posh Xanadu accommodation vessel and the Bigfoot oil platform. Offshore oil and gas in the Gulf of Mexico is a major source of energy and petroleum production for the United States. Oil production from the U.S. federal waters in the Gulf of Mexico reached an all-time annual high of 1.65 million barrels per day in 2017. There are 175 offshore oil rigs in the Gulf of Mexico, making it the largest collection of oil rigs in the world behind the North Sea. Offshore oil rigs are commonly referred to as floating cities, since many different people live on them at any given time. It's also fun to note that most of these oil rigs are taller than the world's tallest skyscrapers. And the oil rigs also have some really good food too, just don't drink the water. The tallest oil offshore platform is the Petronius platform at 1,998 feet. And if it were a building, it would be the third tallest building in the world. Oil rigs in the Gulf directly employ somewhere between 10,000 to 12,000 workers. The total number of directly and indirectly supported jobs by the offshore industry is 62,000, which is 3.3% of the total employment in the state of Louisiana. But you can and will find people from all over the world. However, employment numbers do fluctuate with the price of oil. The offshore oil industry does have a history of controversy and tragedy. On April 20th, 2010, a blowout caused an explosion on the Deepwater Horizon, killing 11 crewmen and ignited a fireball visible from 40 miles away. The fire could not be contained and two days later, the Deep Horizon sank, leaving the well gushing at the seabed. The U.S. government estimated a total discharge of 4.9 million barrels of oil into the Gulf. After several failed efforts to contain the flow, the well was declared and sealed on September 19, 2010. In September of 2014, a U.S. District Court judge ruled that British Petroleum, or BP for short, was responsible for the oil spill due to gross negligence and reckless conduct. In July of 2015, BP agreed to pay $18.7 billion in fines, the largest corporate settlement in United States history. The Deepwater Horizon disaster is the largest marine oil spill in history. If you enjoyed today's tour, you can tip your tour guide by hitting the like button. Also, check out some of our other video tours right here. Thank you for flying with Airworthy Tours, and we look forward to seeing you on our next flight.